this video, what I'd like to do is to summarize our most extensive training program that we have that we call Doggy Double Doctrine. We actually ran out of educational names and so we just stuck it with that. And then we add the age that the puppy goes home after it. So in DDD7, they go home at seven months of age. DDD18, they go home at 18 months of age. It's the only program that we have that doesn't have a hard and fast end date. It is a month to month program where we are training our puppies to become adults, where we're doing our best to uh, prepare them as best as possible in our four core areas. Now our four core areas of training, again, are outside training, house training, obedience training, and socialization. By this age, the puppy has mastered their obedience commands of sit, down, stay, come, place, and kennel. They know the, the commands with hand signals, with words, and with the training lead. The big difference in their obedience is going to be duration and distance. So for example, when we say place on a six month old puppy, our goal, if I remember right, it's to hold the place 30 seconds at a distance of 30 feet. Well, a puppy at Doggy Double Doctor, especially one in our older programs at nine, 10, 11 months of age, they can hold it for minutes. We've even had puppies that will, we'll tell them to place on a Karandakot and they will stay there for 20 minutes without moving. And so we can leave the room, we can come back and, and they will still be there. They're so much more mature. This is a program where you have puppies that are now turning into young adults. They still have a long life ahead of them, but they're extensively trained. So obedience wise, they do get better. It's not as extreme as the younger programs, but they just get better at what they're doing. The biggest changes in the DDD program versus the other programs are going to be in the other areas. One of the big areas is gonna be house training. A puppy at 10 months of age can hold the restroom for twice as long as a puppy at five months of age. They physically can hold it. So they can hold it for hours during the day, more like an adult. At crate training is another example. A puppy at six months of age, our, our goal is for them to hold it for four to five hours during the night. Well, a puppy at eight months of age can typically sleep 10 hours at night in a crate without having to use the restroom. And so that's a big advantage. And uh, so obviously with potty training, they physically can hold it better and they've been doing it for months longer. The biggest area though that we work on in our DDD program is in socialization. Because the puppies have their obedience commands mastered, because their house training is mastered, they just need to be able to hold it for longer. The area that we focus on more than anything is socialization. They are already fully vaccinated. They have all of their shots. We are not worried about them catching something and getting sick. So we take them on field trips more than anything. They are taken on car rides, car rides daily. They are taken to parks. They are taken to stores. Our goal in this program more than anything is to get them comfortable with being with new people and new situations. Our big word here is desensitization. We play loud noises for them. Our goal is to get them not to be afraid. All puppies, most puppies, go through what we call the fear period, which is around six to 12 months of age. We have a whole article written on it. And it's just a time where, where dogs in general, right when they're going into adulthood, they're just more afraid. And um, that is very, very common. We run into that all the time. And it doesn't matter how much training a puppy gets, they all typically go through. It's kind of like teenagers with people. They just are a more um, subconscious and very fearful. And you just think of teenagers, you're crazy. That's kind of what the puppies are at this age. And so we are working hard at getting them not afraid of anything that they possibly could be afraid of, like vacuum cleaners, thunderstorms, hair dryers, um, uh, anything that can cause them fear, TV, people, we are introducing them and extending that into the program. Now, one of the things that makes the DDD program different than any other program is that we have a DDD guarantee. That's the only program where we allow you 30 days. If you're not happy with your puppy for any reason, it doesn't mean that the puppy has to have a health issue or has to have a training issue. It could just be you realize the puppy's just not a fit for you. For any reason, you can return the dog for a replacement dog or a partial refund. You would get most of your money back. There is some money that you would lose your deposit. And we do have some specifications for that. So for example, you have to keep your dog for three weeks 
Um, we don't want you to have your dog for one day and then say, you know what, I changed my mind. And you have to keep your dog, work through that transition period, we'll help you. Uh, if you're having a training issue, we have local trainers, we call them Recherche Tutors, all across the nation. If we don't have them in your area, we will find a trainer and we will encourage you to work with that trainer. But if, if you go through that after three weeks and you're not happy, you just call us up and we will take the dog back for any reason at, at any, during that 30 day period. So that's what makes the DDD program so special. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and learning about the DDD program. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or an email. Thank you so much and God bless.